Hey you all, this is Summer with Summer Sips and Stitches. So I just got my hair done and now I am coming into Michael's, my first time being at a yarn shop since vacation. So let's just do a quick shop. I told Brandon I would not buy any yarn. Hopefully I can keep true to that. But I just wanna see some yarn in a store since traveling. Um, and let's, I'll bring you in, see what, see what there is in the, anything new or any deal, deals. Okay, so the first thing I see here are these bins, 50% off, which makes these ones $4.99, and then they have smaller ones on the other side. Now, do I need these bins? No, but would I like them in my classroom? Maybe. That's a pretty big bin for $4.99. I'm debating. I'm also a sucker for things that have my name on it. It says summer, a state of mind. All the summer stuff is 50% off. There's another poster there. So I'm perusing the summer stuff on my way to find yarn. I don't know. I don't need any of it. I should practice restraint. I always like to check out the pattern books. Sometimes it's really nice to see inside them in case I order them from online. This one is really cute. These are the company that makes all those kits. I have that one. 20 tiny toys. That might be interesting. What's this one? Oh, I have that one. This is one of my favorite books. I love that book. Oh, and I have that one. It's knitting. I don't know if I need to make blankets. But anyway, I always like to check out the books. See if there's anything I need. Okay, I'm in the yarn section. Let's see if there's any good deals. This looks a little sparse. Of course, they got their Burnett blanket extra. Their their brand of it too. Uh, the stuff, oh, this is clearance. Got a little excited, I thought maybe that was, but these are on clearance, $3.99, cozy. I don't know, I don't think I need those. All yarn, buy one, get one 50% off. Well, I might have to get myself a cake. All yarn. That's the time to buy them. Not phenomenal deal, but not terrible. And they have a good amount. I'm looking for my one-time favorite. They don't have it. The Copenhagen one. It's a bulky. Hopefully that's working. My camera just gave me a message. Well, let's check out the clearance section. And then I'll let you know if I got anything, if I buy anything. Oh, no, they don't have that little rack of current yarn. Well, that's disappointing, you guys. Well, I'll let you know if I buy anything in an end video. Okay, let's see what I can find. Okay, so the three cakes that they're saying are new are these cinnamon swirl cakes, which honestly, they're beautiful. I don't know if I've ever seen them before. These cakes, which oh, I love this color. A blossom cake. That's pretty. I got this green shade and that purple one. And then cotton cakes aren't new. Well, they got them labeled as new. I've had a cotton cake. And then this is a right, maybe it's a new color. Oh, I love this one. This is my first ever Karen cake. This colorway. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a cinnamon swirl. $12.99 though. Buy one, get one half off. All right, you'll see. Which one do I get? Do I get that one, that one, that one, or that one? What would I'll get two? All righty, you'll be your surprise for later. Okay, you all, um, it's the next day. So this is what it looks like when I do my hair. I always feel so pretty leaving the salon. They do so good. And then this is what it looks like when you try to do their own, your own thing. But I wanted to close out this video with the things that I purchased. Cause I, after going to Michael's, um, came back to Oshkosh and Maddie <clears throat> wanted to go shopping. She had some gift cards from her birthday and I needed some cover up. So we went to TJ Maxx, Ulta. I think those are the only two stores. But I don't know if any of you have a teenage daughter, niece, goddaughter. Take them shopping. 
It, well, one, I'm going to be honest. It is the best time that Maddie and I have together is shopping together. I don't know if my husband necessarily understands it, but not clothes shopping. No, just like makeup, skincare, accessories, just get her a Starbucks and, oh, we went to Target. That's the other place. Because I, I got a Starbucks. So it was just such a great time and we had a good time and I usually end up buying things I don't need. Okay, so I'm going to save the Yarny Goodness for last. What? Yeah, it's called Hooking You. Yeah, so, <laughs> so if all you want to see is my yarn, you have to wait till the end. What? I know that's rude. I'm sorry. Okay, so I bought two things at Target, you guys. The whole time I was in Alaska, I didn't shave my legs. I know, is that terrible? So I got this razor. Flamingo comes with five, it has five blades. It has replaceable heads. Um, I used to have one, I just couldn't find it. I lost it and I don't know about you guys. I can never keep track of those. I used to always buy disp disposable, but Maddie talked me into that. Then I got some of these new tabs. These are some of my favorite and it's kind of yarn related. First of all, as you know, I'm obsessed with rainbows. But you can use these to tab patterns in books that you're using, or <clears throat> this part is translucent or a little bit. And so you can put that on the paper, or if you put your pattern in a sleeve to mark the row that you're on, if it's one of those really difficult ones that has like a lot of different things that you got to do. And I just move it down row by row. Um, usually what happens is I misplace the ones that I have. So then I have to buy new ones. And I saw these cute rainbow ones. And I want to say they were $2.39 at my Target. Okay, so that's what I bought at Target. Then Maddie and I went to TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx does have discontinued skincare. And um, Maddie is obsessed with skincare. She's young and beautiful. She doesn't know the, the truth of life yet, but she's putting on all those things. Well, I saw, well, first, Maddie saw a cute purse or a purse that she thought was cute. And then I saw... Um, this pink bag that quite frankly looks very similar to the one I had been carrying. Um, but I do like, and I sometimes feel embarrassed saying this because I know, but I don't know if you guys know the singer, Jessica Simpson. She was real big in the nineties. She married a back Nick Lachey and then they had their show and whatever. I mean, I don't follow her. Like I love her, but her name is on this brand of purses. Cause I'm sure she's not tonight designing them. And I really do like them. And I have like three of them. And there was a new one. It was pink and it was kind of rectangle. And it had like these like little, it, like a satchel, right? Well, Maddie's like, look at this purse. I was like, oh, I don't really like this. She's like, it's so cute. But anyway, we compromised and I chose this purse. It's still kind of a satchel. And it has this floral side here. These handles are removable. And it does come with a little wallet, but it's just open in the middle. Oh, it gave you a bag. So this must be a designer brand purse that is on clearance. And it's just open. Um, what I've found typically is if I carry a really big bag, I fill it with a bunch of stuff and then it's super heavy. And um, when I really get down to what I really have in my purse, it's really just a wallet, a cell phone, a notebook, some pens, and a lip gloss. So I thought I would try this. It's Dune London. Um, I know nothing about designers to know if that's cool or not. The price at TJ Maxx was $34.99. So I usually make a rule. I don't like to spend more than $40 on a purse. That's still kind of much, I guess. But this day and age, with the way things have changed in price, I think $34 is still comparable. Because when I was in high school and college and I'd go buy purses, I'm obsessed with purses. Purses and bags, purses, bags, and shoes, and sunglasses. I love the accessory, and I think that's because when you're a fatter person, and I'm not trying to like get on a soapbox, but when you're a little bit heavier set of a person, clothes aren't as cute. Designers don't necessarily, all of them at the, re at the retail stores, don't actually make them for the cut of a bigger person. They just take the small person's shirt and make it bigger. And so you kind of, I sometimes kind of feel like baggy and boxy and blah. But I think I really can jazz it up with a cute pair of sunglasses, a cute purse, a cute shoe. And I, then I start feeling a little cuter than um, when I'm just, or maybe it's just that no matter how big I get or skinny, accessories will always fit you, <laughs> right? So anyway, I don't know where that came from, but I did buy myself a new purse. My husband's rule when it comes to shoes and purses is one in, one out. 
I know, and I don't have any in the top of my mind right now that I want to get rid of, so... Um, to be fair, that's a good rule. Like, if you're someone that just has a couple purses here or there, you know, that might seem a little out of the control. But when I have over 50 shoes or 50 purses, he's he's right on the money. You know, and he's doing that so that I don't become a hoarder, right? Okay, so I got that cute purse. Then, what else did I get? Oh, when I was at Michael's, I got, I think it's ready. No, one more thing, and then it's the Michael stuff. Okay, you guys? Okay, <clears throat> the last thing I got is Cover Up. Now, I've talked to you guys about Cover Up. This is my favorite brand, Sharp Tarte Shape Tape, and it comes in these little bottles, but um, they are a little expensive, I'm gonna be honest. They're $30, but they usually last, especially in the school year, about three months or so, three to four months, because when I'm in the school year, I wear makeup six days a week, Sunday through Friday. On the summertime, as you can see in this video, not a stitch of makeup, but I wanted you to see what the cover-up looked like. Um, one thing I was gonna, this is a makeup tip. Some of you might already know this. I wish I had one to show you, but this is this is the color I had. And um, the normal brand, the high, the high cover, high doesn't make sense. Heavy coverage, full coverage, had some like coloration in the bottle where it was kind of lighter here and the tone got darker. And I thought, I was said to Maddie, because she was with me, oh, I wonder if I like pump it up while I mix it together. And she's like, don't buy it. She's like, if you see like the discoloration through the tube, that means the makeup's old. And she, you could, I suppose, go look on the expiration date. And But she's like, just put it back. And so all the ones in my shade, in my full coverage cover up were um, discolored. So I didn't buy them, but their new shade that they had, their new Radiant brand, which is a medium coverage, um, d was fully. There's, as you can see, there's no discoloration. So that's my little tip from Maddie. If you see some coloration, it's not that it needs to be mixed, it's old. But this is where I put my sharp shape tape. Before I do my, um, well, first I do primer, then I do this, and I just, blend it through and I just feel like it lightens up under my eye well that's what I do and I just rub it with my middle finger um the reason why is because that's what my Mary Kay lady told me to do when I first started learning how to do makeup my mom um brought me to a Mary Kay lady and that's what I do I guess I use the tip of my third finger I don't know why I don't remember why she said it now I don't, you can't really see too much. It blends through, but you can see that this area is lighter. Then you go in with your full mascara or your full um, foundation, but I don't like really put too much right through here. Sometimes I go back in with another coat. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it lightens my face up a little bit. I don't know, do I even need it? My husband said I, does. I don't, he's a gem. Um, but these are $30. Tricky thing, though, is I got this coupon in the mail from Ulta, and I was reading through the description, and nothing in there said, like, sharp shape tape, because you know how they have in fine print the things that you can't use um, the coupon for? Well, to make a long story short, apparently Tarte Shape Tape is prestige makeup. That's what they called it, prestige because I went to where I'm like, uh, is this covered? And she's like, no, it was $10 off a purchase of 30, which would have been perfect. And I'm like, why not? She's like, well, it says no prestige makeup. And I'm like, what's a prestige makeup? And how can you tell in here? Well, apparently it's the stuff that you can't buy at Walmart. So like CoverGirl and Maybelline and all that stuff that you can get at the regular drugstore, they sell it there. I'm like, Holly, just give me a coupon or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is what I bought for Michaels. Ah, the time you all been waiting for. And then I'll close out this video. They, uh, Maddie and I are obsessed with burning candles. And when I'm sitting here in my little cozy corner, my little crafty corner, I crochet, I watch a video, and I burn a candle. So I bought these two candles. These were two for $7.99, which is a really good deal, you guys. That's even cheaper than Walmart. Um, I got Maddie this scent right here, Rainbow Sherbert. Mmm, don't you wish you could smell it? It's delicious. Um, to be honest, it smells kind of like Fruit Loop cereal. Or sherbet, maybe, but fruity, a fruity punch kind of smell. 
I'm sorry you guys can't smell. We don't have smell-o-vision. Um, and mine that I got, besides being pink, of course, was beautiful, but was Pineapple Guava Anais Goyev. I can't read those fancy words down there, okay? And this, to me, smells like fruit, floral, coconut mix. It smells like Hawaii. It smells like what you would think Hawaii would smell like if you've never been there. Pineapple-y, fruity, with some, like, tropical flower. Smell. I did it again. But two for $7.99, what a deal. And it's a big, full candle. Hopefully they smell as good. One thing I have known about cheap candles versus expensive candles, because you might ask, what's the difference? Occasionally I will, if I have a coupon, buy a Bath & Body Works three wick candle, and they will burn longer than the Walmart ones. Why, I don't know. Right now, you guys, I'm getting real close. Right now I have a mainstay Frosty Sorbet three wick candle. I mean, I buy them. This one smells like, I don't know, like flowers, like fro frosting, frosted flowers. I don't know. Anyway, but this one will burn quicker. Like the amount that the wax, where is it going in the, in the atmosphere? I don't know. I do know that they say if you have birds like parrots and all those fancy birds that you should not burn candles. So it probably does go up in the air. Anyway, that's what I think the big difference is. How and why, I don't know. But I do think fancier, more expensive candles burn slower than the cheap ones. But this was like, how much does it say here? It doesn't have a price on it. It had to have been less than $5, maybe $4.99, $3.99, or I wouldn't have bought it. Oh, here's the fancy bag for my purse. Okay, you guys, here's where, where we're running for. The two things I bought. So the Karen cakes, all the cakes were buy one, get one half off. Actually, all the yarn was. They, I want to see if I have it up here. My favorite all-time yarn from Michael's, I think, has been discontinued. It was chunky loops and fret threads. And the thing I love about them, I'm looking to see if I have one nearby. And I don't. I make my mittens out of them. Oh, and I just love, it has like... I get a pink one in kind of an aqua blue and it has like solid strand because you know how yarn is strands mixed together and then one of them would be like striped like black white black white black white anyway it has different colored strands that go together in this bulky and I love making mittens out of them and for some reason the last 10 times that I've gone to Michael's they haven't had any I want to say it's Charisma, Copenhagen or Charisma or Denmark or something like that. Way long time ago, a subscriber friend who I'm going to try to remember her name off the top of my head sent me a package from Michael's. Not Tara Lynn. I can't remember. She's in Canada. Anyway, and she's the one that got me turned on to these yarns. And... I used to, I mean, Appleton's as close as it would go, and I'd go up there and buy them, and then all of a sudden, one day, they weren't there. But this is what I did buy, and I'm actually obsessed with one of them. I want to make something for myself, but I don't know which. I'm in the process of getting mostly fours because I want to get a good start on my, uh, my Christmas hats. When I was in Alaska, I did make two, well, it's going to come up in a yarn chat video. But I'll mention, I made some hats. I brought four, two skeins of worsted weight yarn. And um, I want to say grand total, I made four or maybe five hats. But um, I want to make sure I have a good start. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be up to 22 this year. Our school is just overflowed. We get so many people who want to bring their kids to private school. And it's a blessing, sure. But it's a full group. Anyway, so I'm getting it. Everyone, all that to say, I'm buying weight four because that's my favorite to knit with um, for hats. So this is what I got, Karen Cinnamon Swirl Cakes. It claimed it was new. Of course, these are my favorite colors, pink, blue, and purple. I mean, th may sometimes make that blue a little more aqua and that you've hit, the, hit it right on the nail, <laughs> right on the head is my favorite, but isn't it beautiful? Mm. Now, what do they call this yarn? I don't have my reading glasses down here. So I'm gonna have to hope I can read it. This is called Twilight Surf. Maybe, I guess, purpley's in the sky at twilight? I don't know. 
surf maybe the water right here i guess that does look like kind of twilighty i guess i don't know i'm not a namer of yarns what would i call this i i can't even think about it so maybe someone else just threw it together it's a weight four and then how many yards is in here 100 percent acrylic eight ounces 227 grams 407 yards if you're knitting you could probably make a full shawl with this if you're crocheting you're gonna need two that's how it goes unless you're a super skinny lady then one should be fine but if you're like a size 14 or bigger you're gonna need two or three of these to make a nice shawl that's just the way life is maybe one scarf um they have this right here um I'm not a fan of reds and oranges, so to me that looks horrifying. Probably would look really pretty, I guess, with this, but um, usually I'm trying to peek in here to see if the pattern's inside. It actually does look like the pattern's inside here. And not only does it look like it have words in here, it also has the diagram. I just peeked right in there. Okay, so I did buy one of these. These were $12.99 each, the two skeins. Buy one, get half off your second this is the one that i'm loving oh isn't that beautiful oh my god i love it you guys this is a blossom cake i've never actually heard of a blossom cake this yarn is amazing maybe because it reminded me of bella coco's crochet society yarn as you can see maybe you can't it's round and it's a bunch of tiny little threads pushed together I'm going to try to pull it out for you so you can see. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to get up in there. Do you see that? How it's like tiny little thread fiber, threads of fiber. It kind of has a cottony feel. Now, of course, it's probably acrylic, but it feels kind of cottony. Let's see. But not like a stiff cotton. It feels like, you know, the difference when you have like a normal cotton t-shirt and then you have one of those really bougie ones that's like a soft cotton. That's what it feels like. It is cotton. <laughs> That's why it feels like cotton summer. Okay, so it's a week four, 61% cotton, 39% acrylic. And this is one of my favorite Spanish words. Because I was a Spanish minor for a short time in college, and I took a lot of Spanish in high school. Algodon. That's how you say it in Spanish, cotton. Isn't that a fun word? But um, it's 61% algodon, cotton, 39% acrylic, 8 ounces, 227 grams, 401, 481 yards. Oh, and it's my favorite color ever, the color spirit for the mandala cakes. As you can see here in my yarns, you guys, when I organize mine in color order, I've got red and orange jammed together in one, yellow and green jammed together in one, and then blues slash you know all shades of blue three cubbies <laughs> purple two cubbies pink one and a half cubby with some white because for some reason they put a lot of white and pink together so like white and pink variegated together yeah oh my gosh i just love this color mm, i would buy them all so this is my blossom cake i don't know what in the world i'm going to make out of it probably hats because that's just what you guys, you know how like you go through phases? Maybe you don't, maybe only I do. Like for a while, I was cranking out the baby sweaters like you would not believe. And I was even getting fancy, crocheting like stars and hearts and sewing them on the sweaters, putting pockets on them. And then I was going through making square blanket. Blankets were like granny square or squares and then sewing them all together, whipping through those like you wouldn't believe. And now, for some reason, knitting hats. But whatever. That is what I bought shopping with Maddie. Probably spent nearly two or three hundred dollars. Now I got a pile. You guys, do you want to see what it looks like on the floor after I, maybe other YouTube people, do these shopping hauls? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Um, I also want you to know right over here is a terrible mess. Um, I'm not even sure what it is but I need to clean it up but I'm going to show you why I'm feeling brave this is what the floor looks like Ooh, maybe I'll take you out of out of the thing after I do a shopping yeah I just start throwing it all on the floor see there's the yarn there's the purse there's the bags here's the candle 
I just throw all the things I just showed you on the floor. Oh, everyone, are we all settled? Okay, let me get that up. And then there's all that mess. That's my goal for this week, which I'm doing pretty terrible about because it's already 30, Thursday, and I have that mess. I gotta clean all that out. It was to clean out my crafting corner. That's what my goal was. And I have failed. I'm gonna put you guys back on the tripod so I don't give you C or motion sickness. The problem is this tripod doesn't work well with my cell phone case. Okay, I have to make it quick. I gotta end this video. So that was my shopping haul. That is my new haircut. The beginning of the video is fresh from the salon. The end of the video is I've done it myself. So I don't look as glamorous, but it's short. It brought out the highlights. I got some yarn, I got a purse, I got some candles, got a little makeup, sharp shape tape, $30 at Ulta. Um, yeah, that's that. Drinking my pink drink and my fancy new Dunkin' Donut cup. Isn't that beautiful? One of my friends from college is opening up franchises of Dunkin' Donuts, so I had to stop over and say hi and buy a cup. All right, that is all for this video. My next video will be a yarn chat where I'm sharing with you things I'm making with yarn, knit and crochet. All right, um, I appreciate all the nice comments I've gotten about my Alaska trip. Flynn, yes, is one lucky gold miner all his panning of gold. He did well. Um, I guess and that's all y'all. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next one, happy crafting. Bye.